liberals attack Trump's mental health, UK Prime Minister issues shocking statement. Since Election Day, liberals have tried to oppose Donald Trump. They've come up with a variety of accusations that make him seem unfit for the office of president. Each one has failed spectacularly, but they haven't given up. It's almost as if they don't like democracy very much. Lately, they've been attacking his mental health. It's forced even the Prime Minister of the UK to comment on Trump's mental state. You might remember some of the pathetic attempts by the left to prevent a Trump presidency. They tried to bully the Electoral College, even going as far as death threats. When that failed, they tried to disrupt the inauguration, which also failed. Then, Democrats pushed a phony dossier to suggest Trump was working with the Russians. Despite a year-long investigation, they've come up with nothing. The latest scheme is to make Trump out to be crazy. Citing author Michael Wolff's latest bowel movement of a book, in which he dumps every bit of gossip, accusation, and rumor that he could dig up without any concern for truthfulness, they want America to think President Trump is mentally unfit for office. That's pretty rich, considering the massive successes he's already achieved in his first year. I guess a booming stock market, returning jobs, and tax cuts were accomplished by a crazy person because apparently, according to Democrats, you'd have to be crazy to put Americans first. The hysteria has spread across the biased mainstream media. Even bogus newscasters in England are spreading this nonsense. Corrupt journalists recently asked Theresa May, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, if she thought President Trump was mentally unfit. It really shows you how inept, despicable, and dishonest the media are, to even ask that question of another world leader. However, to the disappointment of the limey journalists, May shot down the accusations. UK Prime Minister Theresa May shot down concerns about President Trump's mental fitness on Sunday, saying he acts in the best interests of his country. May was forced to comment on Trump's mental state following the release of Michal Wolf's explosive book claiming some Trump advisors openly questioned the president's mental capacity for the job. Speaking with the BBC, the prime minister shot down any accusations against Trump, saying no to question if concerns about Trump's mental fitness were serious. When I deal with President Trump what I see is somebody who is committed to ensuring that he is taking decisions in the best interests of the United States," she added. May also reiterated that Trump will be coming to Britain for a visit, but come up short of providing exact date and details. Source, Fox News There's no doubt those journalists were hoping May would give them a good sound bite. If she said anything that suggested Trump is unstable. It would have gotten coverage on every major news site. Every liberal outlet would have been playing it over and over again, but because she didn't play into their false narrative, few will cover this. This idea that Trump is unfit has been pushed by the left for a while. Unhinged liberals, suffering from Trump derangement syndrome, have claimed the president is crazy. It speaks more of their mental state than this. However, Michael Wolff's book casts more dubious flames onto the fire. Liberal media have pushed it as evidence that Trump is crazy. However, even never Trump conservatives and liberal journalists openly accused the book of being non-factual. It's not too explosive after all. PM Theresa May's comments only further pour cold water on liberals' dreams. She's worked up close and personal with Trump during her visit to Washington, D.C. May would know more than liberal journalists about the president's mental state. Her comments only confirm what we already know, Trump is not the crazy one. A bigger question to ask is will May welcome Trump to the United Kingdom? Trump has been in office for over a year now and has not visited our closest ally. There have been questions whether Trump will visit the country as a full state visit which would include meeting the Queen, or if he will opt out for a lower-key working trip amid probable mass protests. Trump has previously come under fire from British lawmakers after they deemed some of his statements might have violated the country's hate speech laws, prompting country's members of the parliament to debate whether he should be granted a full state visit. In November, May criticized Trump after he retweeted inflammatory videos from a British-French far-right political group saying it was wrong to have done so. Source, Fox News It seems like there are Brits who have swallowed the liberal hysteria.
much like American liberals, they believe whatever their biased media tells them. I don't know if there will be mass protests, but the fact that there are British citizens opposed to Trump's visit, suggests how warped their media is. Many of them probably believe Trump is mentally unfit, despite any evidence. Rest assured, the left will push this until they find a new attack. Russian failed. Invented sexual harassment claims failed. This will fail. It only embarrasses the left, making it impossible for them to regain credibility with American voters, and all I can say is, good. Good.